Oh, bloody hell. Oh, oh bloody hell. Here we go. All right. Uh, yeah, this is a pub. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is called Ned Kelly's Hammer. I got this poem. It was Nick. Oh, I got this poem. So, so I told you this was a poem. Wasn't it? Anyway, I got this hammer. It was Nick Kelly's. Some claim it fell from the stars. Others say it was blessed by a Kadosha man. All I know is I've got it. Comes with a degree in sledging. Every captain of Australia held it when they led the national cricket team until 1993, when it went missing, I believe. Turned up in Paul Keating's possession, vanished just before he lost the 96 election. Pauline Hanson didn't get it, neither did John Howard, although he hung around Steve Waugh hoping to get a score on the whereabouts of the hammer. I heard Bob Catter had it for 10 seconds, but his hat wouldn't let him keep it. The hammer passed through a couple of comedians' hands and then vanished once again. Until one day, I was picking my nose next to the rose bush in the backyard when a radio traffic reporter, Chopper, flew over, dropped the hammer on my head. Didn't leave a dent. That's because I'm too thick. You really don't mind if I leave the next joke out? A paraphrase some won't get. Yes, I'm now in possession of Nick Kelly's hammer. And there's a lot of nail heads that need a knocking in. I'm bloody ready to do it. I've got Nick Kelly's hammer. P.S. No bricks were harmed in the making of this poem. <laughs> there you go. I know it's bad, but it's the way it goes. From the terrible preamble right through to the end, it's very, very much, I should end with a, a thing moment. <laughs> there you go. I know it's that.